current site you use is about to expire yes. its term. When does that end? Uh, January. So it's January. through the end of the year. Yeah. So January one, we could start a, a new site. No matter what. Okay. Can we get the same? Website. No, they, they no. Yeah. let's yeah. start yeah. fresh yeah. and let's have it positive and let's have it nice. Well, they and, set up their own the way they have uh, and uh, let's eliminate the newsletter. We're done with that newsletter. Right. Well, so we have the website. That's not, isn't the newsletter in the docs that we're going to do a newsletter? Where did I read that? So I thought, no. I don't we're not required to send out a newsletter? Yeah. I didn't see anything in there. About you just, but no, I you're only required to have an annual meeting. I think that's all. So oh, I'm sorry to cut you. So the website will be new and improved, and have, and along with this, he'll send tell people how they can find us on the website. Absolutely, absolutely. And we'll send out, once we've set it up, we can even include that with our notices. It looks like we're going to have a lot of notices going out January, February about all these things. We'll include a website notice, how to, how to register, how to log on and set up your username and password, all of that. And, and then you'll have, they can like, be packaged. Yeah, we can put all forms on there if you want your architectural review right. forms, your lease applications, rules and regulations. You can, I think the server will even allow you to put um, your documents on there um, so people can download the official governing documents of the community. Marty, that's, that's what, how much yeah. It was 35 a month you paid quarterly. I'm not sure what you're paying right now. I don't know. Probably at least on the financials I just received. That's not 35 by house, it's just 30. 35 altogether. For the association. Yeah. Yeah. I just wanted to make that clear, right? <laughs> and I even I have some associations where the board members have uh, the, the administrative log on, so you guys can go on and even put things, post um, information as, as you want to. So if you want to do that, where I'm I'll be the main contact, but some boards like to get on there. Yeah, well, we all have a, um, like I know on the other website, like if they have president, vice president, whatever, people could, if they wanted to go onto the website and send something to the president or the uh, architectural committee yes. or something that it automatically would roll over into, um, into their um, email. email. Yeah, it, there's actually a, a section of board of directors and you can put as much or as little information. It can be your names, it can be your name, a picture, a phone number, a little bit about yourself. It can it can be as extensive as you want it to be, or it can just be the names and our information to contact you. It's, it's kind of however you want to work it. So we're basically going with just a website and no newsletter. And then, of course, there's a lot of people, I suppose, who don't have internet access. Is there any way that we could at least um, send out some kind of a, a newsletter every just, just on a quarterly basis to, to catch up with what's been going on or something like that? What would the cost of something like that be? That's a question I'll have to ask Chris in terms of pricing. I'm not sure. It depends on how extensive the newsletter. If it's just information and it's just going to be paper and postage, um, if there's more to it, than that, I would need to ask Chris about the pricing. We, I know you sent us out an application of homeowner information you wanted back. Mm -hmm. and I haven't looked at it, quite frankly. <laughs> but you're, you're asking for email addresses? We are. And, uh, we are. So you would know then if somebody doesn't have internet access. We could ask. Somebody. We could put in a letter, too, to ask if you need. An indicator, if, you, yeah. if you can. Uh, if you don't have access, maybe we can make arrangements for them. Give them a printout of what's on the website. Or they could you know, go to the library. Well, and anything available on the website, if they call me, I'd be happy to provide them with whatever information they need. That That isn't their sole means of getting information. I'm, I should always be a first call if, and if there's any questions or anything. But the website can, is just an asset to use, too. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. This uh, $35 per month fee, uh, that includes hosting, maintenance, You would own it, yes. Okay, so well, it's not through independent management. Okay, it would so be your site. Part ways, and would take the site with us. Absolutely. Okay. All right, we 
done on that? Do we need to vote on that or anything? Yes, she's well, shaking she her head. Yes. No. Okay, I'll, I'll make a, a, a motion that we let the independent management do on the website. I second it. Okay, all in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Good. Now, old business, pending mediation, Rodan. Wait a minute, where are you going? This is on this sheet, right? I, on the these website, you got two more things. G, community, mailing. Oh, then, uh, okay, I didn't have that on my, my printout. Okay, community mailing about garbage <coughs> container rules. Who, uh, who? Yeah, that, that was, that was mine. That uh, was yours. What, yeah, what did you mean by that? that uh, brought that to my attention that there's a, a few owners that are leaving their, their garbage containers out in, in their, um, their recycle bins. So I just wanted to know if there was a friendly way to go about it. Just notifying everyone in general that you know after the pickup, the police board you know, decides to just immediately start sending out violations. But I'm open to, uh, to suggestions. Well, they, they always did that on the newsletter. They put like a little reminder: garbage goes out such and such the day. You know, a lot of so people so don't come home for work. Send them a letter. Right. Uh, this one actually, there's one I passed on my way here. Still out there, garbage and the. Then, yeah. then you need to have the governance committee okay. send a friendly letter. Okay. Um, okay, and then you asked about the towing procedure over the holidays? Uh, Bill, excuse me? Yeah. On that note about uh, taking garbage cans in, in my neighborhood, in my close knit area, we do it for each other. So uh, get friendly, you see it, take it up to their garage door, and maybe the problem will go away. Don't you just think that it charges them 125 <laughs> Yeah, maybe I throw that in. I don't know. No, they do it for me because now and then I'm gone. Okay. Uh, are we good on that then? Yes. All right. Now you have a towing, towing procedure over the holidays. personally in favor of doing something like that. I mean, don't we have something in progress already where you notify somebody from the board or whatever? Or? No, we had talked to, um, I think at the meeting with Chris, we would mentioned that. Uh -huh. We could work on something like that. Either <clears throat> you make a general rule to the, the towing companies that on holidays were exempt, or come up with a system where we can actually get a prior approval. Yeah. But that probably is a little bit more well, the only thing is, is that if you're, they're parking on the street, right. you know, I, I, I have a feeling I know what instance you're talking about. Well, you have a party, you have a little too much to drink, and then all of a sudden you pass out on somebody's couch and it's 4 <laughs> o'clock in the morning. Well, now your car has been towed. Well, but the whole thing, if that's the case, you know, there's a lot of houses around who, who are hip and foreclosure or whatever. Yeah. Have your guests park in, in, in those driveways. I mean, yeah, you might, might ask a neighbor who, who's uh, not going to be using the driveway and, and let you park in there, but uh, they still can't, can't block the street. They still can't park up on the sidewalk. Uh, you know, that has to be followed, but uh, certainly we, we could give some kind of break. Uh, you know, mainly if, really, if they, if they notify that, that they're having yeah, a party. Yeah, for a notification, you can call the uh, management company and yeah. I'm so-and-so at this address. Having yeah, get together, there's a possibility we might stay later at one o'clock. May even approve it up until two a.m. Not yeah. to say all night. The they current the contract, they're only they're all, if I'm reading this correct, they're only patrolling from one to six a.m. Yeah. Do you want to set dates over the holiday that I just call them and say, no, totally leave it alone these right. nights? Because if, if we want prior approval, we need to notify the membership that they need to do that. We could save that 